When you've logged into your JVZoo account, hover over the Sellers tab and click on the Sellers Dashboard button. And then, click on the Add a Product button on the right side of the page and wait for it to load. You will then arrive at this page. Now, set the launch date and time of the product. In this case, I'm going to put the 9th of August, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Once you've done this, move on to the product name. For instance, I am How to Pack. And then set up all the information needed. The product price will be $10 in this case. The commission payout percentage is the percentage that you're willing to give to your affiliates that promote your products. Usually, for the front end product, you can afford to give out a 100% commission. If you have subscription or multiple payments, mark the box beside the percentage to reveal the extra panel. And then, fill in the information. If you're not going to give subscriptions or multiple payments, disable it. Moving on. If you want to limit the number of items to be sold in JVZoo, you can fill in the quantity field. For instance, you're going to sell only 200 copies in this launch. Then you just type in 200 in the field. Fill in the email address. This is the email address the customers will go to if they have questions or want refunds. In this case, I'm going to put in support at gmail.com. Right below the support email address field, you can also fill in the URL to your help desk. Moving on, fill in the URL to your landing page, sales funnel, squeeze page, or your pre-launch. In this case, I'm just going to put in www.test.com. And then, as you can see, the next option is to send all traffic to the sales page after the launch date or time. If you choose yes, all the traffic will be sent straight to your sales page. If you choose no, then the traffic will be directed to your landing page instead. The second part of the session will be all about your sales page. First, fill in the URL to your sales page. I'm going to just make up one now. And then, pick a delivery method. Usually the default would be a protected download from your own page. And if you choose this option, you will be asked to upload the product on the next page. You can choose the JVZoo thank you page as well. But it is less secure than a protected download. With a protected download, people are less likely to guess the link to the page. Once you're done, set up the return period when your customers are allowed to refund the product. There is an option below which states, Make my product eligible for product of the day. It is highly recommended to mark this box to enable it. When you do this, if your product is chosen as the product of the day, JVZoo is going to mail out your offer to their mailing list. With this, you can easily get another 100 sales from JVZoo's list. The final part of this will be about your affiliates. First, you will see a drop-down menu for affiliate approval. Click onto it and you will see three options. Manual approval, auto approve, and no affiliates allowed. If you choose the manual approval option, you will have the rights to approve, delay, or deny the affiliate request. If you choose the auto approve, JVZoo will automatically approve the affiliate requests with the delayed status. And then fill in the affiliate terms, notes to affiliates, and the custom receipt info. And that is all there is to it. Click on the save product button and your product is ready to go. Go to the Sellers Dashboard in the Sellers tab. You will find your product list here. Make sure you've already uploaded at least one product. If you haven't done so, you will not be able to see this page. In this video, you are looking at a rather mature account. I've already uploaded a number of products. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to single out one of my products. I am How to Pack. Click on Buy Buttons and wait for it to load. When the page is loaded, you will see that there are a few options of buy buttons with the codes below it. Pick one and copy and paste the code to your sales page. And that's all there is to it. So let's get into it. Just hover your cursor on the top menu here on the sales button. A drop down menu will appear. And just click on the second button, which is the sales funnel button and wait for it to load. When it's done, 
it will bring you to this page. Then, you just click on the Add a Sales Funnel button here on the right side of the page. But, in my case, I've already created one, and I'm just going to click on it. Another drop-down will appear on the right side. You can click on that. This is the front-end product menu, where you can choose a front-end product that you've already uploaded on JVZoo. For this video, I'm going to click one at random, then click on Save. Proceed. It will bring you to this page. As you can see, this is the name of your sales funnel, and this is your front-end product. You can just click on your front-end product drop-down menu and choose your front-end product again. Below it is a flowchart. This flowchart represents your sales funnel. The green box over here represents the upsell, and the red box represents the downsell. When you want to upload your first upsell, just go to the menu down here at the bottom of the page, right next to the front end product you can see over here. Just click on the drop down menu, and you pick one of your products to be your first upsell. I'm going to pick one at random and click on Add, and proceed. There you go. You have your first upsell over here. As for your first downsell, it's right next to your upsell menu, which is here. Just click on the drop down menu, and then you pick your first downsell. I'm picking one at random. Then click on Add. Just the same procedure as the upsell. And there you have it your first upsell and your first downsell. So if you want to insert more products into your funnel, you can do so down here, just the same way as we did for the previous boxes that you may not want to exhaust your customers by bringing them through the sales funnel for too long and making them feel as if they're in an endless sales loop. It is the same procedure to upload the other products to your sales funnel. When you've done with the upload for your product, just click on Save, Proceed. Wait for the page to load. There you have it. Your sales funnel is done.